Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Kate Brown. And um, <laughs> the last time I was up here, I was wearing glasses. Um, but they were fake because I was going for that specs appeal. Um, <laughs> So um, I'm here to talk to you guys today about school lunches in Boulder, um, specifically one special lunch lady who's doing something really cool. Um, I don't have kids in the system, but as Vanessa Williams said in the 80s, I believe that children are our future. So, <laughs> um, so here's something that's kind of the sad truth. Um, our tax money is paying to feed kids some really crappy lunches all around the nation. Um, and the the other crappy thing is that the lunch ladies always get a really bad rap. Um, but it's not the lunch ladies' problem. It's really a problem that we all have to get together and solve. Um, oh, as you can tell, I'm a really big fan of food. And uh, like food activist Michael Pollan said, it's very much, yes, I very much like to have a personal stake in what I'm writing about. So we all have a stake in what we're giving to our kids. Um, and. As I just said, I, I'm a really big fan of food. This is what I ate as a student athlete um, at Freiburg Academy where I went. I ate seven bowls of Szechuan chicken on Szechuan chicken day. That's 1,400 calories. So kept me going really strong. But this is the typical lunch that is fed to our kids in public schools. Um, now, the USDA says that this is a perfectly fine lunch to feed our children. It contains a lot of vegetables. Um, a lot of fruits and a lot of lovely carbohydrates and protein there. Um, this is the food pro, uh, pyramid that was developed in 2005 that will tell us all what we should be eating. Um, I'm not really sure what that means. When I was in school we had four squares and you just pick one thing out of each square. Uh, luckily there is a really cool lunch lady who um, is known as the renegade lunch lady who's out to solve this problem. So her name's Chef Ann Cooper. She's the renegade lunch lady. Yeah. And so I was researching Ann for this talk, and I was talking to a cool lunch lady on Twitter, and she said, did you know that Ann's actually working in the Boulder School District? And I said, no. So I went down to 6500 Arapahoe, and I sat down with Ann, and I talked to her about what she's doing at our schools. So she's the interim director of nutrition services for the Boulder Valley School District. She uh, runs the school food project, and she started. Um, she came into the schools in 2009. Uh, in 2008, there was a survey that was passed out to every parent in Boulder, and they said, "Why don't you have your kid eat school lunch?" 54.99% um, of the parents said, "Our kids say it tastes really gross." So Anne came in in 2009, like I said, and she wants to make sure that high fructose corn syrup is taken out of the schools. Yay! <laughs> Trans fat is taken out of the schools. Uh, so that means the USDA lunch is actually an epic fail. <laughs> um, did you know that ketchup and french fries are counted as vegetables? That's a true story. Um, so. Why should we care about school lunches? Why don't we just pack um, lunches for our kids if we know how bad they are? Well, the truth is, it's not really fair for the kids that get free and subsidized lunches to have to eat really crappy foods if, <laughs> if there are some kids that are not really benefiting from this. Um, tetherball is my favorite playground sport, so I had to throw that in there. Um, but I truly believe that healthy kids equals healthy communities. This is a really cool um, salad bar that Anne put into every school in the school district. Um, one of her main goals is to get a salad bar in every school all across America. So this is all happy news, but there's also some sad news. It all comes down to money. Um, the Child Nutrition Reauthorization um, just passed in the Senate, and it's going to the House right now. Um, they're only providing an extra six cents per meal, and that's definitely not enough, because the last time they checked it out, it was five years ago. So you guys, to make this sustainable in our community, have to donate money. <laughs> so there are a lot of ways you can do this. One is to go to Whole Foods, and at the checkout, you can actually <laughs> give one to five dollars every time you check out, uh, specifically to the program. 
Also, you can check out her website, which is thelunchbox.org, which has a lot of free tools. <laughs> That's what's going to happen to kids in America if we don't support this initiative in our community. So please donate money, go to thelunchbox.org, and find out more about what Chef Ann, who's a famous food activist, is doing in the Boulder Valley School District.